inside, outside. Alligator clips and shark's teeth stand between me and the picket fence outlining the parameters of the spreadsheet of my lawn. The alligator says, let's take a walk down to the river, opening and closing its spring-driven jaw, creaking, grinding. Its joints are rusting. Take me to the river, it says. I will protect you from the sharks. But the alligator's kidding. But the alligator's lying. But the alligator's hungry. He'd sooner take you down to the river as lick your feet or challenge you to canasta. I tell him I'm staying put. Forget it. Find some other rummy, but I'm the only rummy it's got. And so... Like a wind-up toy infiltrated by a child's wet imagination, it snaps, it snaps, it snaps. And a lake the size of Minneapolis comes roaring out of his rickety mouth. There's a flood in my living room, and I can't decide if it's safer to stay or abandon ship. And I paddle around like a wig caught in a fan, my hair plucked out of my head by my fingernails. Leftover pancakes turn into starfish. Old socks transform into eels. Everything moves more slowly. My parents wave at me from the garden. Hi, Mom. Dad. Ah, I say to the alligator, I cry, go away. You're only a theory. Go away. I ask my folks if they couldn't come back next weekend when it probably won't be so wet and we'll have a barbecue on the patio, just us, the alligator sitting there gobbling and eating burgers. But the alligator has different ideas. And just for one moment, I'd like to see one of my theories come to life. Right here on the street, that alligator... No bad dream, no hasty arrival, no convicted felon. And then it occurs to me that even though this is my theory, that alligator, that fucking alligator, ate my parents' 